More than 100,000 people have now escaped fighting in the Iraqi city of Mosul. Many are women and children, but there are also military-aged males among the crowds arriving at camps for internally displaced people, or IDPs. And that's raising concern that ISIS fighters could be hiding among them, waiting to launch sleeper cell attacks. Seb Walker reports from Khazar Camp in northern Iraq. These are the latest Mosul residents to flee the city. Trucks full of military-aged men transported from the front lines in Iraqi army vehicles to a camp on the edge of Erbil. It's mostly men, since families are often separated for screening, out of concern there may be ISIS fighters among those trying to leave. The women and children are taken first and processed quickly. The men have a more stringent security process to go through. So the men are being checked for weapons and explosives as soon as they get off the trucks, and then they have to go over to the security center to show IDs and get registered in the camp. It's a tricky process. After two years of ISIS control, it's hard to find anyone from Mosul without some association with the group. As a former Iraqi army soldier, Ali Suleiman had to carry an ISIS-issued ID badge. Kurdish security forces are carefully checking names against their database of ISIS suspects. Did they ask you lots of questions when you when you got taken by the military? The possibility of ISIS infiltrating those fleeing the city is real. Kurdish authorities claim they've detained hundreds of fighters among the IDPs. The fear is that ISIS fighters could slip out among the civilians to launch attacks elsewhere. Those who reach Khaza camp aren't allowed to leave. Armed guards patrol the perimeter and the entire area is fenced off. Attacks by ISIS fighters posing as IDPs have already happened. The most deadly was in Kirkuk, hundreds of miles from Mosul. In October, ISIS launched a full-scale military assault on Kirkuk, sending fighters to link up with sleeper cells, some of which Kurdish authorities say were linked to the IDP population in the city. The fighters launched their assault in the early hours of the morning and they were able to hold this building that they used as a base for more than 12 hours. There's bullet casings everywhere in here and you can see the marks still on the walls. The man in charge of repelling ISIS that day was Kirkuk Chief of Police General Sahad Kader, known as the Lion of Kirkuk. He spent years on the front lines fighting Al-Qaeda but he says he's never seen anything like ISIS. Were you surprised or did you think something like this could, could happen here? I mean, this isn't Fallujah or Mosul. This is, this is a different kind of city. Do you think ISIS still has sleeper cells here? This, it could happen again? Back in the camps, as more people flee the fighting, the level of suspicion is rising. But it's causing tension among those who've risked everything to get out of Mosul.